Hello! In this video we'll show you an example of data call campaign set up for AliExpress catalog extraction. Subsequently you can use the extracted data to input them to your own online store. Please check our simple store extraction video for better comprehension. Note that in this case the needed information is arranged on the catalog web page and we need to extract data for several items from the same catalog web page. One data group will contain information like product name, price, image, etc. for one item. So we start a new campaign wizard. We'll use the advanced wizard in this case because we need to extract several data groups from one page. Enter the campaign name. Setup input data. Usually these are links to catalog or website categories we extract information from. For AliExpress we use browser to load pages to make website crawling more natural and avoid blocking. To scan all catalog pages, also called pagination pages, we set up link collection rules. For this purpose we'll use XPath expressions. XPath expressions address different parts of a web document. Datacall uses them to find data for extraction and to find links to follow. For fast XPath selection we launch Datacall Picker. To pick up XPath for all pagination links we just click one of them with the left mouse button. The best option is to click the next page link. Instantly you will see appropriate XPath expression in the XPath selection area. It is automatically saved to the XPath list as well. This list will be ultimately used by Datacall. In the links area you can find the list of links which can be extracted with this XPath. So, making several mouse clicks, we set up data call website crawling route. Now we just need to click the save button to save picked XPath expressions in the campaign configuration. Now when data call can get to the needed data, we have to explain to it how to extract them. But we should consider that we have to extract data for several different products from the same catalog page. In such cases we use the ranges technology. Utilizing it we should show data call web page area, so called ranges, where we should extract data groups from. For this purpose we will use XPaths as well. For fast XPath selection we launch data call picker. To pick up XPath for ranges, we we'll first click on one of the data fields. It can be product name, for example. Then we push the cut from the beginning button to expand the area addressed with XPath. We push the button till the selection box covers area, including all the data we need to extract for one product. XPath selection accuracy is verified because all web page areas, including product information, are selected. Now we click the Save button to save picked XPath expressions in the campaign configuration. At last we get to the data collection setup. At the first step we set the data field list we need to extract. For data extraction we use XPath expressions as well. We we'll launch picker again. Note that previously picked ranges are marked with blue frames. Right now we can pick XPath for data fields just inside of these areas. 
so we need to pick up XPath for the product name. To do so, we click on it with the left mouse button. Note that the product name is automatically marked with the red frame in all ranges. XPath selection accuracy is verified by the found web element source code. It is displayed in the found matches area. Similarly to the product name, we can identify XPaths to save other data fields. For the image field, it is better to use a specific context menu option. When we reach the last data field, we just need to click on the Save button. Now we should still make image download to the local computer. Thus we finished the data extraction setup. Now we close the wizard and go on to testing. We click the launch button. In a while, we'll see data collection results appearing. After the campaign is completed, all the extracted data will be saved to the Excel file. By default, it is generated in the Documents folder. The file name matches the new campaign name. Images are saved to the pictures folder by default. Note that the extract data save format and location can be overridden. We will tell more about that in our next videos.